Hi everybody! In this week's edition of Tuesday Tips, I want to talk about um, a way to not only reuse an old makeup product, but to store kind of a beauty product that we all probably use and have issues storing. So the product that I want to talk about is bobby pins. And if you guys are anything like me, you guys probably have a million and one bobby pins floating around in your makeup bag, in your car, in your purse. Um, I know that I sometimes will just take bobby pins out of my hair and throw them in my purse and they're never to be found again. So I also want to talk about um, a way to store bobby pins and reuse a product that you might have otherwise thrown away. So I have this really cute lipstick tube here and this is actually one that is from the MAC Hello Kitty collaboration and I thought this tube was really cute. Um, as you guys can see I have finished the lipstick inside and I've just kind of been saving this tube because I didn't really know what to do with it. MAC does have a program where you can um, turn in old empty products and return them for new products but um, I didn't really want to do that because I just really like this tube. It's pink, black, it's really girly and I really like it. So what I ended up doing was taking a Q-tip and kind of just uh, putting rubbing alcohol on it and cleaning out the excess residue out of the tube. Then if you just twist the tube down a little bit, you can take the bobby pins and you can just stick the bobby pins right inside the lipstick tube, twist it all the way down, and then put the cap on. And there you go. You have a really super easy way to store your bobby pins to make them easily accessible. And I still get to have a use for my really cute lipstick tube. Now this will work with other kinds of lipstick lipsticks. You don't have to use a MAC lipstick tube. This is just what I happen to have laying around. Um, you can use any brand of lipstick. For example, I have two here. This is my Maybelline one. And as you guys can tell, there is still lipstick in here. But the same concept, once you're all done with the lipstick, um, there usually is lipstick right under this plastic part too so when you're done just take a um, q-tip with rubbing alcohol clean out the excess residue and it'll work with that and then I also have this one here this is my um, Revlon color burst and there you go again the same thing with that so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's edition of Tuesday Tips and until my next video stay beautiful bye